Hello everyone, Neff here. And today we have another update video. Indeed we do. Um, so I'll be quick this time, because last time we kind of ran out of it. And yeah, that was that was not ideal. But yeah, so just a bunch of fixes, a bunch of new things added. Thought I'd go over it. Um, so first off, we have physical projectiles now. So instead of just having ray casted ones, which we still have, we also have these. So if I fire now, meow, I just fire all these off. They have default textures, but you can see they're actually like physical projectiles that move through the world and they collide with the walls and stuff. And they work quite well. The game can actually handle hundreds and hundreds of them, so it's quite nice. That's why I have this set to like Uzi mode. <laughs> the decals look weird because they're tiny compared to the actual projectiles right now, but that's just because I've no, I've no real decal graphics. So yeah. And beyond that, I've also added actual font rendering for once, which is nice. And if I just go to debug mode here, you can see now that I had it like a lot of you that played Busky know I had a lot of trouble with the font, and I just I kind of struggled to get it to render right. Whereas now. It ran just perfectly, which is nice. So yeah, I mean, up at the top there, that's the entire font, but then at the bottom, it's actually rendered as it would be when you render in-game. So like it has different spacing and stuff. It's actually mono-spaced right now, but I think it looks okay. So yeah, that looks that looks nice. Um, it, you'd be surprised how much that meant to me because like just with GL, stuff like that can be awkward sometimes, more awkward than you would think it would be. And um, but yeah, so aside from that, I've also added a map view, indeed. <laughs> So like, as with any of these old shooters, you needed to have, you know, a map. And this is pretty marathon-esque, this one, the way it works. And it's pretty simple. I just, you know, draw everything in 2D. And it works quite well. You can navigate around, run around in the map view. You can also zoom, so it can get really, really, really tiny. Or get really, really big. <laughs> so yeah. And because that's all just, you know, vector stuff, it works pretty well. And yeah. It could do with some prettying up, but it works pretty well for the moment. And you can even like go over and open the door and stuff because you can see what the door is. Yeah. And you could probably use the lift, but I would have to activate it first. Which sometimes works. Because <laughs> I can't tell which way I'm looking. No, don't get it at that time. But anyway. Because <laughs> when I come out of map view, yeah, I could be looking at the sky. I actually might change it so that when you're in map view, it, it brings your view down automatically to here. So you can do that stuff like that. Um, but yeah, apart from that... I fixed a bunch of stuff. I fixed the normals, if I show you now in debug mode. Like these little green lines here, these are the normals. And so now all the surfaces, the normals face the right way. That might not sound like a big deal, but that helps with a lot of stuff. Like the game worked anyway, but now it works better. Like I can fix a lot of things. For one thing, I fixed a lot of the texture issues. And um, some of the textures were facing the wrong way. That's fixed now. Like the gun was flipped and it shouldn't have been flipped. <laughs> and stuff like that. I can also do back face culling, which is nice. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Just basically means I'm not drawing, you know, stuff when I shouldn't be. And yeah. It just fixes a bunch of things. It also allowed us to fix, in fact, the platform and or the platform nine and three quarters effect, which I mentioned before. And that was basically that the physics work pretty well. But if you had, say, a big corner like this one, there would be a case where it was just just corners like this, but what would happen is if you ran directly in between these two, like exactly in between, like dead on, so you could see the line there you would phase straight through it, which was obviously bad. Now, it was quite hard to actually reproduce it. You saw me kind of struggling in the last videos to just do it. But it's obviously an issue that shouldn't be there. Like, you could be running against a wall and it would happen sometimes. That would be bad. So, now, because of the normals and everything else, I've been able to fix that. So now, if I try to reproduce it, and don't take two hours to do it this time, if I run, now it doesn't work. See, so like now, no matter what I do, in fact, if I try it again, I won't do it. It'll just basically push me back into the other polygon. So that's nice. So now the physics work perfectly everywhere, and that's really nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, like that's pretty much it. But I just kind of wanted to show all this stuff off. Things are pretty solid at the moment, and a lot of the features I want are in there. Um, obviously, a big thing now is the map editor. That's going to be fun. And as well, one last thing I have to do is I still haven't done the sectors with, you know, polygonal sides. But I'll be doing that now, probably next. Shouldn't actually take too long. But, um, but yeah. And also next video, I'll probably try to show off some more graphics and stuff. But yeah. So that's pretty much it guys, and so for now I must say, I'm good day!